What's up everybody, welcome back, Patrick here. Moving on to the next topic. In this video, I wanna talk about components of vectors. And to do that, starting off with a simple example here. So let's say vector A goes from the point four and one to seven and negative one and we have to determine the components of vector A. So let's start off by first graphing this. So vector A, its tail starts at four and one. So let's say that's like here. And then its head is going to be at seven and negative one. So let's say that's down here. So this vector looks something like this. Right, so it's from four and one to seven and negative one. So now if we wanna take this vector and put it into component form, what that means is we pretty much have to draw an equivalent vector, but where the tail starts at the origin. So it's like we're taking this vector here and we're shifting it so the tail would start at the origin at zero and zero. So now we just have to find this point here, x and y. And that would be the vector in component form, the equivalent vector of this. And the way you do that, it's pretty simple. All you do is you take the x value of the head minus the x value of the tail, and then you take the y value of the head minus the y value of the tail and that would be three and negative two. So this here is that coordinate, three and negative two, right? So we basically took this vector and broke it down into components. So from an x value of four to an x value of seven, that's a distance of three. And then from a y value of one to a y value of negative one, that's gonna be uh, going down by two. So if we took this, shifted it here, where it started at zero and zero, that would be the equivalent vector in component form. So that there is your answer to that question. 